the Appomattox Stew Crew getting ready to fix their first stew for the 2023 fall season. We're going to take you along today and show you the process, show you what we put in it, and we're going to show you how we prepare a stew. We hope that y'all enjoy this video. Well, here's a look at the stew pot that we'll be using. You'll notice we have it on a stand. And I'm going to show you the bottom first. This is the burners. We have three propane burners up underneath it. And the metal flashing you see around it, that is to help keep the wind from blowing out the, the fire when it's burning. This is the metal stand that it's built on. And let's take a look over inside the pot. The pot is empty right now. But it won't be long. We'll be adding ingredients to it. And by the end of the day, the pot will be completely full. When we get done, we'll have a, right around 200 quarts, maybe a little bit over. I'm going to show you the ingredients with, that we'll be using today. We put a case of each in except the carrots. We start out with the yellow kernel corn. It's six gallon cans of that. We have four gallons of the sliced carrots. A case, which is six gallons of the medium lima beans. A case of the crushed tomatoes. And a case of your diced tomatoes. The first step is to add the water to the pot. And we got some five gallon buckets. We put about two full ones and about three quarters of a, the third bucket of water. So it's probably about 13 to 13 and a half gallons of water in the pot to start with. And we'll light the burners and we'll bring this to a boil and, th and then we're gonna add the meat. Now this is what the burners look like when they are burning. Now the first thing we do, we add the meat. We use chicken and beef. This is boneless chicken breast cut up. And here's the beef. It's 10 packs of beef total. It's going to be probably around 55 to 60 pounds of beef that goes into this and 45 pounds of the boneless chicken breast. We have added the beef and the chicken to the pot. Now this will probably have to cook around 45 minutes before we start adding anything else to it. The next step will be to add the potatoes. David is doing what he does best when it comes to stew making. As y'all can see, the, the, when I stir it up, all that steam coming up. So it's going to take about 45 minutes for the meat to get cooked some, and then we'll start adding the other items like the potatoes, the celery, and the onions. And then after that, we'll start adding all the canned goods. But I'm going to kind of pull it up. You can see the meat inside it. There's no shortage of meat in this stew. The next thing we add into the stew pot will be 100 pounds of potatoes that we peel. We get two 50-pound bags, we peel them, we put 50 pounds in each cooler. That's a lot of peeling. And that's the second cooler added. Now we'll take your paddle and stir them around good. The next thing we'll add will be the celery and the onions. Probably about 25 to 30 pounds of onions chopped up. And we had 19 stalks of celery. All a little extra this time because the bunches were kind of small on the celery. It's a whole lot of work goes into making a stew. Chopping all this stuff up, doing all the peeling. All right, it's time to add the onions and the celery. Lots of onions there, David. And there comes the celery. You see the pot now is starting to fill on up. We've got all the meat, the potatoes, the celery, and the onions. It's beginning to look like a stew. And the next thing will be starting to add the canned goods. We'll let this cook for a little while. 
Now it's time to start adding the corn. We're going to put six cans in total. And I'm going to stir it in as he's dumping it in, in the pot. And you don't drain the corn? No, you don't. All that juice will add to it, the flavor. And that helps fill the pot up too. Now it's time to add the sliced carrots into the pot. Again, we just dumped the whole can, juice and all. All right, now it's time to add the lima beans to the pot. And I'm going to stir them in as he's dumping them. And you notice the, the pot is getting fuller. We've got the crushed tomatoes and the diced tomatoes left to go now. And for our seasoning, we put salt, pepper, some sugar. And we kind of season it to our taste. It's no certain amount. We have a new stirrer in training. With a little practice, I think she'll get the hang of it. I'm just moving to the motion in the ocean. You think you could do this all day long? I don't see why not. Now we're getting ready to add the crushed tomatoes. After these are added, you'll have that real stew look color. It's looking like that already just from the other stuff added. And you also always have to wash out these cans right here to get every little bit out because the crushed tomatoes, it sticks to the cans. So you'll notice he's sloshing it around. That gets everything out of the can so you're not wasting anything. Now it's time to add the diced tomatoes. And when we get done, it's going to be full all the way up to the rim. You're going to have to take your time and stir easy then. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to have to be very careful so you don't slosh a lot of it out. Now this is what the finished product looks like. Look at that chunk of beef right there. That's and, what you like. And then all the other vegetables. You can see the corn. I see some celery. Carrots. There's some diced tomatoes, that's lima bean, piece of potato. Let's try it and see how it tastes. I know it's hot just coming right out the it pot is. like that. I'll let this cool a little bit before you can eat it. What do you think of the taste? Tastes pretty good. First one of the year. I want to thank missing a little Grilled cheese with it. Oh, we'll take care of that for you. When we get home, I'll make you some grilled cheeses. As you're eating this, I'm looking behind you and seeing all these boxes. What are all these boxes for, David? Those boxes are for orders we got. Some people getting four, some get six. Got some even getting 10, 12 quarts. All right, so when they come to pick it up... and. The biggest order we got this time is 20 quarts. Wow. That's somebody who likes stew. You know, when they come and pick it up, y'all, you have it ready for them. Their order, their name's on it, it's boxed up. You can't beat that kind of service. You can't. You'll notice we already got some orders set to the side, waiting for the people to come pick it up now. Like I was saying, this order right here for Tim, Tim is getting 20 quarts. We got him in... Two crates and a box. This order right here for Steve, he's getting 18. Carol right beside him getting eight. That box right there for Jackie, she's getting four. Paul's getting four. Richard's getting six. So once people start picking this up, it's like going through the McDonald's drive-thru. But you get a whole lot better customer service here. Oh, no, it's like Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A knows how to get them through quick. My pleasure. Hey, I'm here with Brian, and Brian is a loyal stew customer every time there's a stew he's down for at least 10. brian what is it that you like so much about this stew it's hot and ready and it's delicious thank you brian now it's just like an assembly line he's dipping pass him a cup take one and set him over here on the table 
But then we put the caps on them, the tops on them. Now we're putting the tops on them. After that, we'll write down the name off the list here. And then we'll set them to the side and they'll be ready to go. All right, we are here with Tony and Tony is a loyal stew customer. Tony, what is it about this stew that you like so much? I love it because it's seasoned just right. It's got plenty of vegetables in it. And I just, I've, I've been buying it for years and years and I love it. It's the best around. All right, Joyce is putting her order in for next time. Joyce, why are you getting your order in now? I want to make sure I'm going to get some stew. Is it good stuff? Oh man, it's the best. It is the best. We hope you enjoyed this video of us making Brunswick stew. There are lots of recipes out there that you can use, but this is what we use and the people seem to like it. So we hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, give it a thumbs up. If you hadn't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. That way you can keep up with all the latest and greatest adventures from the VA Fun Seekers. Until next time, we thank y'all so much for watching and God bless.